this week before the guys hit the trails, Don wants to make sure that Matt has plenty of fuel in his tank before he heads out on the fire roads. All right, Don, I'm all suited up. Let's get on this bike. I'm ready to go. Yeah, and I must say, you look pretty damn thank fancy you, in all that thank gear. You. It looks great, Matt. You Thanks. don't look so much like a road racer yeah. anymore. <laughs> okay, so we got a few things we got to do before we head out on this mission. Okay. So what did you have for breakfast this morning, Matt? Uh, I had a coffee and a donut. Really? Yes. Ah, I can see you're in training. <laughs> well, I can tell you right now that a coffee and a donut is not going to cut it. Okay. We're, we're probably going to ride a couple hundred kilometers up into the mountains today. Oh, wow. And you definitely need to have food that's going to sustain you. So. I think you should go back and have yourself a bowl of oatmeal or, or uh, something that's gonna something that's gonna stay with you all day. Okay. And coffee is a, it, it dehydrates you, mm -hmm. so, so you need to you need to drink a lot of water. Oh, so okay. Today you missed that. So what we're gonna do is tomorrow when we go out, I'm gonna insist that you have 24 ounces of water before we even get out the door. Okay. The other thing that we're gonna do today is we're gonna plan a little bit ahead. Um, so first thing we gotta do is make sure that you've got water to be hydrated. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to ask you to do today is, every 15 minutes or so, I want you to take five gulps of water. Okay. And the reason that we're going to do that is because once we're out there riding today, you're going to start concentrating on the bumps and you're going to be focused and you're going to forget to drink water. Right. In fact, you're probably going to forget to breathe. <laughs> well, I know that nature will do its thing for you, so you will breathe again. So yeah. I'm not too worried about you there. Okay, The good. drinking of water, you may not. So some of the symptoms that you're not drinking enough water today are going to be, your fingers are going to cramp up. Yeah. You may find some cramping in your legs. Okay. Beware of that. that, that's a sign that you're dehydrating. Uh, your, your timing's gonna start going off. If you're, if you're getting dehydrated and tired, it's, you're gonna start finding that you, you see the bump, you wanna react to it, but you already hit it before you react. Oh. That's, that's a sign that no, you're getting dehydrated, that. you're getting tired, it's time for us to rest. So you let me know when you feel that way, okay. and we'll pull over and we'll give you a chance to have a little nutrient and, and keep going. All right. I want you to throw some power bars into your backpack and some bananas maybe, or some fruit, just so we can keep your blood sugar up and keep your energy up. Okay. And when we get back tonight, I want you to not drink a lot of coffee. I want okay. you to try to avoid drinking a lot of alcohol. Be don't have that beer when you get no. home. Drink water. All right. And for tomorrow morning, when we get out, I want you to have 24 ounces of water, and let's let's try and do this again. So the last thing we're going to do today yeah. is we're going to sit down, and we're going to plan our day. Okay. So we're going to read a map, and we're going to get an idea of the terrain we're about to face, because we, we want to know what we're going to hit. Do we have all the right equipment? Do you have the right clothing on? Right. Is everything ready to go? Secondly, we want to find out where the gas stops are, because uh, if we don't have a gas stop, we don't want to spend the night out there. We don't want no. to have to use all that fancy new equipment no, you just we bought. we don't have to share that emergency blanket. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm not <laughs> snuggling up with you in an emergency blanket, so I guess you're going to be cold tonight. All joking aside, Matt, this is a sport, and we have to approach it like a sport. Okay. So we really need to be serious. We really need to hydrate. We need to pay attention out there, and this, this will be a lot of fun. Okay, great. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Don. You're welcome. There's some really great advice there for pretty much anyone who's planning on doing a day's worth of riding. 